Hi, I'm Sam Dietz. I'm the director of Castlevania. And uh, hi, I'm Adam Dietz. I'm the assistant director of Castlevania. He's my brother. My big brother, actually. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's, it's real really strange. weird for us. <laughs> uh, we actually were keeping up with the uh, Castlevania uh, animated direct-to-DVD movies when that was originally what this was going to be. Yeah, reading our And uh, I remember the website had some James Jean artwork on it and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, and. Pretty much every you know few months refreshing that website that never got updated, and then uh, it closed down. And uh, years later, uh, I think uh, uh, Adi Shankar made a post about the uh, series uh, kind of coming back. And so uh, I went to Brad Graper, the uh, CEO of Powerhouse, and said, "Hey, we should we should work on that." When we were Younger, we, we owned a Nintendo, like everybody, uh, and we rented a few of the games. We rented uh, one, two, and three uh, at varying intervals. I think Sam was probably too young at the time to remember them that well. I don't remember. I mean, usually you hog the Nintendo, yeah. and I had to watch you play games. Yeah, we for fought a long over time. it a lot. It was pretty. Um, I was pretty so. mean about it, to be honest. With you. <laughs> uh, and then uh, straight up fist fights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then eventually we uh, got uh, a PlayStation. Uh, and during the 32-bit era, uh, there was an old. Uh, it was my birthday, and we were going to a video game shop to pick up a game for my birthday. And I was uh, looking at some other video game, and uh, one of the shop owners like, they got this new Castlevania game called Symphony of the Night. It just came out in Japan. They still keep saying it's not going to come out in the U.S., so you should look at this. I turned it on, and Sam was in the background going, well, you should get that. And I was like, all right, fine. And so we got it, and it was the best game ever, obviously. And we didn't even have a memory card for PlayStation at the time, so we would have to like turn it on, leave it on for days to keep our save file, uh, which was not great for PlayStation as it turns out. <laughs> and we were doing a, an awkward swap trick just to make it run too. Oh yeah, it was uh, a mess. Because it was an import. I just uh, sat there like sitting open, ready to be stepped on or destroyed. On, in on a carpet, by the way, so we were definitely <laughs> going to set the house on fire. Uh, <laughs> And that's like not a joke. We were like leaving it on for weeks on end. Oh yeah. And then so we got a memory card and then we could turn it off. So <laughs> I've played every game in the series mm -hmm. except for Haunted Castle, like the arcade game. Yeah. Uh, I've never actually touched that game. I, uh, I think that there, there might be like some of the Game Boy games, which I fixed that with uh, um, one of the Castlevania adventure games recently and played through that. Mm. Uh, but I still haven't gotten to all of those. Uh, yeah, I've, I've turned on the one with so Sonya Belmont that's on Game Boy Color a couple times, but I never finished it. Yeah, yeah. But I've played through the rest of them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we are really big fans. Uh, I actually wrote two of the guidebooks uh, for Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia, and Portrait of Ruin, because uh, I used to be a guidebook writer for Brady Games back in the day. Yeah, I mean, you would have done the same thing anyways. Oh, it's just sure. like play through, clean it out, Probably a couple yeah. of times over, yeah. so it didn't it didn't really like phase you no. at all to have to like write. It stuff was like, out. oh, this is just a thing that I'd be doing anyway, so that's fine. <laughs>